My vinyl cut, I'd like to show you how to change your paper size when you're printing from Silhouette Studio to your printer. Whether you have one printer or multiple printers, you need to change the paper size in your printer in order for your image to appear on the page in the right scale. I will also show you how to adjust your workspace in Studio so they will match. Now I use an Apple computer and I have the most updated version of Silhouette Studio, which is 4.4.247. So your screen may look different from mine, but you still should be able to follow along. So when I open up my my software, I have um, the mat here, and it's a 12 by 12 workspace, um, just because I, I use this software often to send vinyl cut jobs to my Cameo. Um, but right now, I'm gonna show you how to use it for printing, which I often do. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your top right icon that looks like a little piece of paper. It's your page setup and you have these three. This is registration marks. This is your grid where you can turn off and on, which I do often. I, I use it for lining things up and then I turn it off before I send it to print so I can see what it looks like. Um, but this is the most important thing, your um, page design area. So all this does is just allows you to scale your workspace. So I'm going to turn off the mat because in, in the machine, I'm not sending anything to the machine and I'm not sending anything on a mat. Um, the media size is still 12 by 12. So when you click it, you can automatically do the 12 by 12. You can put in a custom design uh, size, uh, page size, 12 by 24. That's if you're using the 12 by 24 mat. Um, that way you know, you know what to put on there. Um, usually it goes this way. Um, but if you print on regular copy paper, which is letter size, you can set your design. I'm gonna just delete this. You can set your design to that size. Um, it's just your workspace. It really has nothing to do with your printer. It's just you de you're designing in that area, in that size. Um, have you ever sent a job and it got cut off? Because um, you think you have this whole space, but then you turn your print border on. Well, that's because I had mud mug paper in there last. Um, but you turn your print border on and you can see, like if I were to print it now, it would just print what's inside this box, which is just this right here. It wouldn't print any of this other stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust um, the page size from your computer, from Silhouette to your printer. This right here is just making your workspace the white box. That's all this is. So if you have A4 size water slide paper, there's your size. If you, um, that's usually 12 by 12 letter and A4 is usually all most people use. Sometimes, you know, there's a five by seven, which is a photo, um, like a lot of times photo paper comes in that, but a lot of times you get the four by six and you can click custom and click um, four, by six and it'll make it like that but you see your print border is a little off um, you want to make the most of that and I'll show you I'll show you how to do that um, so right here when you go to file um, you go to print page setup and that lets your software know where this job is going so the last time I used it, it went to my Sawgrass printer and it printed on the mug paper, which I set up as a custom size, but I don't want to, I don't want to print to Sawgrass. Let's just print to my regular, like my laser jet. And let's just say it's letter size. Uh, like I want to make a sign and I click okay. So this is still so if i print this it's going to send it based on a couple different things it's going to be a little confused um 
it has a border, but it's based on what the printer is. This white box is what I have here selected. So I'm not going to use the size. I'm going to use whatever the printer is set to. So you click printer. So now it shows you the letter size, which is what we selected in here. Okay. And it has my border and you see where my design is. It's off a little. So I move it. So now I know it's going to get printed. Um, and it is eight and a half by 11. It is letter, but you want to make it to the size of the printer because some printers are different. Some printers will have a different border. So this allows you to design your uh, page the way you want. If you want to make it bigger, you know, you want to put it to the total edge. So um, it's just the most accurate way to select your paper size. So I have some templates here that I created. So like this is my water slide template. So when I want to print a sheet of water slide paper, my water slide paper is eight and a half by 11. So I want to make sure it's going to the right printer. So I always print it to my Office Jet Pro 8600. It's set to letter. I click OK. And I mean, it doesn't look like anything changed, but I know that it's the most accurate way to print this. So I have these here because I always, if I have extra room, I stick those on the bottom. Um, and I put my, I usually fit six images here and I fit it, I just made this box and it's um, three and a half inches wide by four inches, or four inches wide by three and a half inches tall. Um, that will fit the top of a Yeti cup. So that's how I size all my images. I fit it in there, like I'll, I'll put it on top and I'll scale it down and then I, I fit them on here. And if I have a little extra room, I might even just, you know, throw one of these up there. You know, if there's like a little, you know, room up here somewhere. And I send those as scraps so people can use them as testers. I use these sometimes too. Um, but that's my template for water slide paper. But my white water slide paper comes on A4 size. And I already had that um, set up here, but you can see it's set to my um, other printer. It says A4, but that's the size of the white box, but my, it's not gonna print that way because see where the print border is? I have to change it. If I'm gonna change the paper size and if I'm gonna change my printer, I have to go here and change it. So it's gonna go to the same printer because it's got awesome inkjet um, quality, um, but I'm gonna use the A4. Now see here, I have an option, A4 and A4 borderless. I don't do the A4 borderless because it doesn't always seem to work out for me. <laughs> um, your printer has rollers and it needs, that's what the print border is. It needs like an area to roll through. Um, now you see how these fit perfectly. So see now, the white is the A4, but the print border tells me where to put my design so it'll go to the printer perfectly and now i have the mug template so i buy my mugs and my mug paper just like my sawgrass printer and all my sublegit inks from condi.com when you buy a product they send you a template so i downloaded this template here so it lets me know this is the size of the mug paper and i can just put my design inside there um, so I know how to um, scale it and everything. So then I go ahead and put it over here because this is my workspace. This is what's going to get printed. But you see my workspace is, um, is set to the last printer that I did. So let's, let's change it. Print page setup. Now Condi helped me with this. So it's going to my Sawgrass. Um, I went I can select, I have two mugs that I print on, and there are different sizes. So I went to manage custom sizes, and then I clicked like add, and then I entered all this in and clicked okay. So they automatically show up here, down here. I don't know what that is. 
Um, so let's just say I'm going to use my 15 ounce mug and I'm going to click OK. So you see how my border changed? So now I know, and I did, I did put printer, but for some reason it's not, well not for some reason, there is a reason, uh, it's not changing this. It doesn't really matter. I mean I can change this. I think it was, um, let's see, 4 by 9. I don't know why they didn't change to nine. There we go. So, I mean, there you go. The white changed, or it's 9.5, sorry. 9.5, enter. So, I mean, all this does is make your white box um, different to help you design, but you can, even, you can even put printer, you can put letter, you can put whatever you want. What's gonna print is, within this print border so you know that's why it's important to always turn that on because within this that's what's going to get printed so you know where to put your design I always like to hit printer just because it'll put this exactly the size of whatever the size you have in your print page set up for that particular printer so I hope this helps some people um, I print on actually in here I have six printers print page set up um, I have this is like our home printer that everyone uses it's inkjet this is my label printer for my Etsy or well my Etsy shop website and all that my online sales laser printer I use it for my packing lists my office jet pro which is my new um, inkjet I because this is my old inkjet I thought I needed a new one so I got a new one and it doesn't work that great this one is awesome it's old if you can find a used one uh, refurbish it it's worth it it prints the best quality prints and then I have a sawgrass um, I'm hoping to get the 800 here soon and another printer um, a white toner printer but that's, that's not going to be connected to my Mac because it has to be connected to a PC. I have a PC and I've got other printers. But you don't want to mess with these preferences. I mean, that can really mess you up. Just leave that alone. Um, I hope this helps you guys. Um, please leave any questions down below. I'm not like a pro. I've only been doing this for four years. I'm still learning. I'm still watching videos. I belong to support groups and I ask for help all the time. But I do work with Silhouette a lot and I do print from it. I even had to upgrade my laptop because I wanted to update my Silhouette um, software. Um, I got a heavy duty Apple computer to support the new business edition with all the graphics that I use. So. Um, I use it all the time. I, it's my my pride and joy. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, have a great day. Bye.